Welcome to another Blender shading tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create this diamond shader in Blender without even faking it. Let's get started. So, I start with a monkey head because it is nice edged. Then I open the shader editor and at first I don't do something to the shader but change the editor to world. There I just load a nice HDR image to an environment texture node. That's important because we're going to make a diamond where the reflections from the surroundings are a big part. Now after that's done I change the shader editor back to object to start with the real shading. So at first, one thing to know about diamonds. The light dispersion from white to red, green and blue in a diamond comes from the speed change of the light. The colors change their light speed slightly different, that's why they spread out. So we're just gonna do the same for each color individually. I just create a glass shader, set the roughness to 0.001 and copy it two times. Then you just have to set the colors for each of these. The first one is red, the second is green and the last one is blue. Just like the contents of white light. You can just set the respective hue value to 0, 1 third and 2 thirds. That are exactly the right colors. Then you just add the first two glass shaders and then add the blue glass shader with that. The color dispersion is now a bit visible, but currently we have a glass shader with the same light speed for everything. We'll correct this now. Just add a value node and set it to 2.418. This is the index of refraction for a diamond, which is the change of speed for the light when entering the object. Just connect that value to every glass node. Now we only have to calculate the different speeds for every color. We'll do that by just adding a value which we will subtract from one color and the same value we will add to another color. Then we get three different IORs for every object. We will subtract from the red and add to the blue. So just slide the math nodes into that. Add another value node which will be the dispersion factor of the light. For a diamond this value is depending on the material from 0.44 to 0.55. Just connect that value to the math nodes and you got your light spread. You can just move the slider a bit to see what happens. The color spread will increase when you increase this value. The slider is very sensitive. We are almost finished. The shader is just a bit too dark and dull. So we will just add another glass shader and connect our diamond IOR to the IOR plug of this glass shader. Then we mix this glass shader with the current diamond construct. For the mixing factor we use a light path node where we use the is camera ray output. And then you are finished. You can play a bit around with the dispersion value and the IOR. And of course, because this is a very reflective material, the surrounding light and environment contributes to the appearance as well. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found this helpful, feel free to subscribe to see more like this. Have fun shining bright like a diamond and see you soon.